A semicircle of diameter 1 sits at the top of a semicircle of diameter 2 as shown. So we know the semicircle has diameter of 2 and we know this has length of 1. So this has length of 1, this bottom has length of 2. The shaded area inside the smaller semicircle and outside the larger semicircle is called a loon. Determine the area of this loon. So we want to find the shaded area. To begin with, let's make sure we identify the centers. So we know that's the center of the semicircle and we know this is the center of the larger semicircle. And immediately we see that because the radius of the larger semicircle is 1, we have this equilateral triangle. Because the radius is 1, we know these two are 1, and we're given that this diameter length is 1. So we have this equilateral triangle with a known side length, which means we can find the area of this. So we know how to find the area of this, and also realize because we know the radius of the semicircle, and we know that this thing is 60 degrees, so we know this angle is 60 degrees, we can also find the area of this circular sector. We can find the area of the circular sector, because that's going to be one-sixth of the area of a larger circle. So we know how to find that, and that's telling us we can find this red area. We can find this red area by taking away the area of equilateral triangle from the area of a sector. So we can find this red area. We can find this red area by starting with this area of the area of the circular sector. So we can find this green area. So area of the sector. And we can take away the equilateral triangle inside. So we, from that, we can take away this equilateral triangle, and we should find the red area. And from this red area, we can find the area of the entire semicircle. So we can find the area of the entire semicircle with diameter of 1, and we can simply take away the red area to find the loon. So we know how to go about this question. Loon is going to be area of the area of the semicircle, area of the smaller semicircle, smaller semicircle, and from that, we're going to take away the red area, red area, which we found using step 1, and we should be done. So let's try to find the red area. So to find red area, we gotta find the area of the sector and take away the area of the equilateral triangle, and the area of circular sector, because we have 60 degree angle being 1 sixth of 360 degrees, we know that's going to be 1 6 pi r squared. So that's going to be the area of the sector. And we see that radius of the larger circle is 1. So we know this radius is 1. So 1 6 pi times 1 squared, that's simply pi over 6. So that's area of the sector. And we're taking away area of the equilateral triangle. And we know area of equilateral triangle with side length of s is s squared times square root of 3 over 4, and we are given that side length is 1, so the area of equilateral triangle is square root of 3 over 4. So we know the red area, that's pi over 6 minus square root of 3 over 4, so now let's find the area of smaller semicircle. We know the radius of this smaller semicircle is 1 half, 1 half, so we know the area of smaller semicircle is pi r squared, divided that by 2 because we have half of the circle and radius is 1 half and we simply get 1 fourth pi over 2 or pi over 8. So we have all the necessary ingredients, so let's combine them. So we know area of a loon is pi over 8, area of a smaller semicircle, minus the red area, which is pi over 6 minus square root of 3 over 4. And we see that pi over 8 minus pi over 6 plus square root of 3 over 4, negative negative is positive, and we know pi over 8 minus pi over 6, that's 3 pi over 24 minus, minus 4 pi over 24, so we have negative pi over 24 plus square root of 3 over 4, so that's our final answer, square root of 3 over 4 minus pi over 24, and we see that our answer is right here, C.